So I was working full time. I have two, you know, preteen and teenager boys. It was during the pandemic, you know, where I was at that point, let's see, 47 years old. And I had, you know, started to go through perimenopause. And so was having a lot of um, kind of like mood related and Mm -hmm. hormone related shifts that were affecting, they were affecting me at work. They were affecting me with my family, mood swings, um, brain fog, all of those things where I'd go in and I'd be like, wait a minute, like, what am I doing? And I, I couldn't quite figure out what was wrong with me. And then in addition, I was gaining weight and I have always been the sort of person who was like pretty even. And as soon as I went up, I'd be like, Oh, then I would, I would just kind of flip Mm -hmm. on my easy, you know, calorie counting and boom, I would lose the weight. And that wasn't happening anymore. I I was finding that I was getting like a thick midsection and my clothes weren't fitting the right way. And and I, I was just not feeling good on a lot of levels. I think the pandemic probably didn't help me in that I was home more often and I was bored. So I think I started drinking more too. I was, you know, oh, well, I'm bored and it's five o'clock and I'm going to have a glass of wine while I cook my dinner. And then that started to, to spiral a little bit. And all of a sudden I'm, I'm home drinking a lot more than I ever was when mm-hmm. I wasn't home all the time. And that of course, then more weight piled on. So um, so I was really, really getting unhappy. And at one point, I, I, I'm on the board of this nonprofit, and I had to go speak at this event. And they published a picture of me on their website. And I thought I was going to cry when I saw it, because I couldn't recognize that it was me. Like my arms were so big, and I had this double chin. And I was like, what? And it's on LinkedIn and their website. And I'm like, Oh my God, like, this is, I can't have this. I, I, I can't have this. It's, it's gone too far. And that, that is, you know, when I had then decided to call you and said, okay, let's, let's start to work together. I remember like the, the big moment where I was like, all right, I'm doing this and there's no going back, which was, I was clearing up my closet all my clothes just did not fit me anymore. And I was just disgusted. And I went and I finally stepped on the scale which I hadn't done in a very long time. And I was, again, just blown away. It was the highest that I had ever weighed, yeah. you know, besides being pregnant with my kids. And it was inching up towards that level. Um, so I was like, oh, that's it. I, I, I think I just, I was disgusted and said this, I, I can't, I can't do this anymore. And so that is when I started to implement the program in full, no cheats. The biggest hurdle I faced was always in the evenings when I, again, like still I was trying to cut back the wine, but that was definitely the hardest thing for me. So I just, so, so I, as soon as I was able to get that piece under control, all of a sudden the weight just started falling off. I feel like the first week was like five pounds or something. I was like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Seven? Was it seven? Yeah, it was (laughs) seven. I was like, what? I know. I was, I was, I was blown away. Um, it, and it just kept coming off as, as I, I was like, oh, this is actually really easy now that I'm just doing it. it, it it's, it's totally working. And, um, and so now I, I hit my goal weight as of, I think it was like two weeks ago. Um, I have decided I want to keep going a little bit more. So I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to stick with weight loss now until I get to about 135 and that is something I haven't weighed since we moved here eight years ago, Mm -hmm. but it's so close. I feel like I can get there probably in like two or three weeks. It'll, I'll be there. And I know that if I just stick with it, it'll happen. But the, I think the thing that's been the most surprising has been all of the other that knock on effects of, of this way of, of living and eating that I, I wouldn't have thought of. So you know, all of a sudden I'm like, well, I need to go get a checkup. And then I see that my cholesterol has dropped 40 points since last year. And it's all just from eating. There's no medication or anything. Um, I now exercise almost every day because I want to, because I actually feel energy and I, and then the more I do it, then the better I feel. And so it's kind of like kicked off this, um, this, this feeling of like that I'm in control again, that I, feel good. And because I feel so good, I I'm making the calls. I'm not sabotaging myself. I'm actually doing the things 
that I know are good for me because I want to do the things that are good for me because it's kind of like I've gotten on a roll and now now I have the uh, momentum to, to keep moving forward and, and doing good things for my body and, and for myself. Um, like I crave vegetables and lean protein now. And, and if I think I want pizza, it, but it's like, I know now you think you want it, but you actually don't want it. You're going to feel so much better. And the, the, that other food's going to taste better too. And then you're just going to keep feeling better. So it does, it, it's like this flip of a switch where it's like you get it. And then it just almost becomes self-reinforcing and it becomes easy because you just know what you need to eat and you just do it. And I'm never hungry. I always feel satisfied. I, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's just been like such an amazing change. And I, I just, yeah, I'm really thankful that I found you and that Krista inspired me ultimately to do this because yeah, it's, it's, it's just changed so many things in my life and, and made me just feel so much better and happier. Um, so, and I, and I've gone shopping and I've gotten some new clothes too, Yay. which is also a fun side effect. I, I, yeah, I feel like I can actually not only wear those older clothes, but I can actually start to, to buy some new ones and feel good about doing that. Oh, that is a good feeling. And you mentioned at the beginning about you had mood and brain issues, like brain fog issues. Have those things mm -hmm. turned around? I sleep so much better. Mm -hmm. Like my, I get full nights of sleep. Um, actually, it was, I, I, my husband's been telling me I was snoring. Mm -hmm. And I kept saying like, no, I'm not. <laughs> You're totally so that led to me actually then also, you know, like kind of getting into this health situation and be taking it seriously I'm like I'm gonna go to the doctor and get this checked out and it turns out I've had a chronic sinus infection for goodness knows how long and went and got that cleared up and now I'm like sleeping really well and it's I, I know it's the nutrition and, and the exercising piece but then it's also me like thinking more about like am I taking care of myself am I going to the doctor am I doing the things that I need to do because before I think I was in avoidance or blocking out those parts of my life and now I'm all in like no no I, I want everything I want to feel as great as I can and it's like wow I, I was walking around with so many things that you know I didn't even realize were wrong with me because I was just kind of in the dumps and not not taking care of myself the right way mm -hmm. I'm proud of myself and I feel like I want to be the sort of mom for my kids that I'm down on the floor with my grandkids and lifting them up and hiking with them when I'm in my like eighties, to be honest with you. Okay. And I feel like I'm doing, yeah, I, I have to take care of myself now if I'm going to be that person down the road. So it's just great to know that I can be in my late forties and I think I'm in better shape now than I probably was when I was in my twenties um, and that I can just keep building off of that. So it's very empowering.